Hey everyone, Jengar here. Now today we are going to fly out the LA-7B-20 into realistic battle. We're gonna look at this plane's weaknesses, its strengths, and we're gonna see how I can perform in it. I'll see you in the match. Bloody hell, look at that weather guys. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. I was climbing to the right side and look what I found there. Six, seven opponents and I was like, screw that. I'm going that way. <laughs> yeah, definitely going towards my allies here. We're coming in right now. Now this plane's performance really suffers above 4,000 meters and especially above 5,000 meters. So you want to climb to about 4,500 meters and then take the plane down while you fight. That's why I chose this K4 as my first target. And we're going down and we are now in my sweet spot for performance. Now when you dive in this plane it does suffer quite a bit from uh, control stiffening. Once it reaches its speed limit in a dive. Its speed limit in a dive lies around 740-ish. It redlines at about 725, 730, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, so its, its top speed in a dive is not that great. But um, it is fast enough in a straight line. And uh, a below a 3000 meter this plane is fantastic. It has great maneuverability there. Uh, not on higher altitudes though, once you get above 3000 meters it slowly starts to suffer above 4000 really the engine starts to be worse and worse and above 5000 meters this really really starts to be crap above 5000 meter you're basically a very easy target so you don't want to fight there so this uh, 109k4 proves to be an elusive target here we are with the weather again. <laughs> it's snowing. Your yeah. Christmas baby. And we're gonna follow him. I still want him. <laughs> As you see this level flight speed uh, 500. The, the energy retention on this plane is quite good. Initial acceleration is also quite good. It has nice roll rate. And like I said the firepower on this plane. 320 millimeter cannons are fantastic. Here we're getting really close to this K4. And we do get him with our first short burst. I really held my fire before that. Why did I hold my fire that much? Because the ammo count with these three guns isn't that great. These cannons are very rapid. And they have a rapid firing mechanism which makes you run out of bullets quite quickly to be frank and if you don't watch your trigger finger you're gonna have a bit of a problem in this plane because you will run out of ammo in no time that's a bit of a downside but other than that this plane is a good all-round performer below 4000 meter and a really fun plane to fly I must say now let's see what this second K that we see here is gonna do it came a little closer but it turned out that both of these planes didn't want to turn fight with us at this altitude which is basically in our sweet spot and we'll see them climb away from us as we go along here so I won't bore you with this climbing away stuff and I will come back to you at a point where they turn so the Doe 335 turned out to go for it sooner than this guy and uh, I decided not to go for him. He also didn't turn for me, he turned to somebody else. But Quickie Boy here decides to turn right now and he is coming for me. So I'm making a sharp turn to the left here. You see as I was at 4300 meters here I kept the plane below 5000 meters because you don't want to go there even though he wanted to climb there he noticed that I didn't go there and he decided to turn for a, for a head-on pass on me which I avoided 
and we're now in a chase again several of my allies around the doe 335 is still in the game but he's nowhere to be seen I really like the clouds when you are above them but when you sometimes when you're in the clouds and you look up and you look down you get these really blocky even more blocky than they were before sometimes I think that's a shame but if you look at it like this it looks really good so we had two opponents left in the match we really kicked their ass from the start there good idea for me to turn in to my allies there because that was 72 on that right side this plane is really nice and steady I, I mean I flew it for about seven matches we won five the Russian teams usually work nice together uh, 70 71.4 win rate and uh, in those seven matches I had a total of 10 kills in this plane with only two deaths so I'm running 10 to 10 to 2 which is 5 to 1 and that uh, was basically pretty good actually I, I was really surprised at the, at the performance it, but it's steady it's nothing stellar I mean the plane is good below 3000 meters don't get me wrong but if uh, boom and zoomers are disciplined and they don't let themselves be alert by you and they, they just zoom out after every attack and have patience you basically have a problem in this plane but apart from that this plane is really it's, it's a steady performer I miss my shot there as he comes by passes by quick boy here we turn up into the vertical we're still flying in our sweet spot here and he has decided to turn with us and that is something you should not do with yucks and LA's especially not in this altitude range he made a mistake here not us if he would have extended and, and dove away and kept boom and zooming he would have been a very elusive target for us because below uh, b uh, sorry above 4000 meters all these planes have issues anyway we are going into the search for the doe 335 now and I'll get back to you when we're getting reasonably close to him <laughs> because he turned out to be a long way away from us hey guys so we're back we found him he was hiding far away in the clouds and we're chasing him with five guys basically Now we're in the middle of the snow, we're in the middle of this cloud, but that's alright. Let's see if we can close with this dude. So yeah, like I said, I I like the plane uh, with, for its flight characteristics and stuff like that, but I have not really had any matches that really stood out. It's a solid performer. I had a lot of 2 zeros, 2 ones, 1 zeros, and uh, this 3 zero. But nothing really fantastic, amazing, brilliant. And that is because if you fight a team that knows what they're doing with planes that can perform at higher altitude, real boom and zoomers, and they are disciplined enough to continue that, then you cannot really touch them in this plane. Because the moment you try to follow them and you get above 4000 meter, this plane's performance is going to suffer, they will outclimb you and they can reset easily. miss our initial pass on this guy he's going for a head on with one of our dudes and we, we do get in there our three 20 millimeter cannons were devastating there for him and we got three kills in this match and that is basically what you can expect from this plane two three kills a match fly this plane disciplined stay out of the 4000 5000 and higher range keep this plane performing between 2000 and four and a half thousand meters uh, preferably below 4000 and it will do you a lot of good this plane it can give you performances that are solid and good let's see what we got for results we get an extra 10,000 silver lions 
and 65,000 with 7,200 research points for the LA-15 Final Blow, Terror of the Sky and Bulletproof. With the first place in the team, nice match, enjoyable playing. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now this plane, after looking at it for 7 matches, I quite enjoyed it. You really gotta watch your altitude with this plane. Above 5000 meters, you are an easy target with very bad performance, so you don't wanna go there. Take this plane up in between somewhere 4000 to 4500 meters and work from there, downwards. When you get into the sweet spot with this plane, and which is you know, between a thousand and three thousand meters you can pretty much take on anything except dedicated turn fighters like uh, some of the Spitfires and uh, Zeros. Apart from that you can take on anybody when it comes to maneuverability. It is really nice as a, as a turn fighter between hooks, right? Because it's not really a turn fighter, but, but in, those, in that altitude it can function as that when not facing the mentioned planes. It really is good. You can get on people's tail and with the firepower this plane has, three 20 millimeter cannons, a rapid fire, you really can shred them to pieces when you get a firing solution. Do watch your trigger finger though, because rapid fire, like I said, you run out of bullets quite quickly. You gotta use short bursts and only shoot at a plane when you really have a good angle because you cannot waste too many shots with this plane. The roll rate is pretty good, decent acceleration in a dive. The problem with this plane is its top speed in a dive isn't that high, it redlines around 730. You basically have a lot of planes that can outrun you uh, at this battle rating. So in a dive you basically are not the fastest plane. You need to quickly, especially when you're followed, you need to quickly go into maneuvers so that you slow the opponent down and you get into a turn fight and like I said against most opponents you will be able to outmaneuver them. When you are following somebody and you're trying to chase them down this is not a plane for chasing things down. It doesn't have a good top speed in a dive. In level flight it's quite alright you know because it has a good energy retention but uh, in a dive uh, no thank you it's not good. So all in all I can say that I like this plane. You really gotta pay attention though to a few things. And if you stay disciplined with those few things, like the altitude thing, the limitations the plane has in a dive, and of course the, the firepower and the rapid firing guns. And if you watch those three things, you will be fine in this plane. You will get a lot of decent performance. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something there. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, you know, those likes really make a difference. Do leave me a comment, you know, I always look forward to the comments every day. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community I really love to have you aboard and uh, don't feel shy to leave me some comments I always try to respond to them so again I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye